this remedy is mainly indicated for female complaints. This is a remedy mainly for the females who have got bearing down sensation as if something is coming down. This is not our sepia or this is not our sabina or this is not our uh, belladonna. This is again a remedy for the females who are indifferent. This is not again sepia or this is not again fluvic acid or this is not again phosphorus. This is a remedy. She is highly irritable, highly hysterical. She can hardly speak a decent word. This is not our moscus. This is not our platina or this is not our lachesis. She has a tendency to curse and swear. For everything she is cursing, for everything she is swearing. This is not nitric acid. This is not, not our lacaninum. She, this is a remedy for the females who have kind of palpitation, kind of congestion in the chest, especially associated with uterine complaints. Whenever there is a uterine complaints associated with congestion in the chest with palpitation. This is not our aconite or this is not phosphorus or this is not glanin. This is a remedy prepared from the family of Liliaceae. This is a remedy in short you can say this is a hot sepia which has got cactus or digitalis heart which has got cantharis and epis urinary complaints. This drug is Lilium tigrinum. Lilium tigrinum. In short, we call it as Lilium tig. As the name suggests, Lilium, this drug belongs to the family of Liliaceae. There are many drugs prepared from the Liliaceae family. As we all know, the commonest drugs like Allosocretina, Allium cepha, Allium sativa, Trillium pendulum, Helonius, both are uterine remedies, Colchicum, Sarasaparilla, Sabadilla, Veretrum viride, Veretrum album, Agraphis newtons, Paris quadrifolia, like this lists will go on. This drug is a native of China. It is found even in Japan, Korea and Russia. It is also called as Lilium lancifolium. This is a plant which is cultivated as an ornamental plant because of its beauty. It has got very peculiar appearance of this plant, this flower, especially the flower which looks like a tiger skin, orange colored flower with black dots on it. Because of this peculiar appearance of this flower which resembles that of tiger skin and hence it receives the name tiger lily. For preparing homeopathic medicine, we use the fresh stalk, leaves and flowers are used which is mixed with alcohol and it is prepared as for the pharmacopoeia. Lilium tigrinum was first introduced into homeopathy by W. E. Payne and later on Carol Dunham, both of them combinedly made an effort and proved in the year 1867. In this image, you can see that beautiful flower of orange in color with multiple black spots. Normally, the flower should be facing upward. You can see the here in this flowers are always uh, facing downwards. It is like inverted. It is not facing to the sun. It is facing downwards. So that is one of the doctrine of signature you can consider as something is coming down, as something is coming out. Even the stalks you can see that something which is coming down. Even the buds are also it is hanging down. So this is the typical uh, uh, doctrine of signature of Lilium Tig. Something is protruding. We have this is an excellent remedy for prolapsed uterus, antiverted, retroverted, or any abnormal position of uterus. You can definitely think Lilium Tig is one of the uh, remedy. 
टाइगर लिलीस और लिलियम टिग्रिनम इज कल्टिवेटेड एज एन ऑर्नामेंटल प्लांट बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स ब्यूटिफुल कलर इट हैज ए ऑरेंज कलर्ड फ्लावर विच इज कवर्ड विथ थिक ब्लैक और डीप क्रिमसन स्पॉट्स विच ग्रोस पोराडिकली बिकॉज दिस फ्लावर्स आर हैंगिंग डाउन अपसाइड डाउन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अपसाइड डाउन हैंगिंग लोटस regarding the sphere of action of lilium tigrinum this drug is belongs to the family of liliaceae as we said in the earlier we have two other drugs from the liliaceae family they are trillium pendulum and elonius both these drugs has got specific affinity to the uterus similarly lilium tigrinum also a special affinity on female reproductive organs it has got special affinity on uterus ovaries it also has got action on heart circulatory system nervous system it also has got action on the rectum and bladder thermally this is again a hot patient has hot as our lachesis has hot as our iodum as hot as our fluoric acid regarding the miasmatic background of this drug this is a drug mainly has got psychotic feature with syphilitic expressions psychosyphilitic miasmatic background regarding the side affinity it is again a left sided remedy which is very similar to that of our tuja very similar to that of lachesis regarding the adaptability of lilium tigrinum for whom this drug is adapted every drug in our metro medica has got special adaptability some drugs are uh, remedies for old age individual some remedies are for children some remedies for females some remedies for males so like that lilium tigrinum is also a remedy specially for various complaints of women especially suited to the hysterical woman like that of our moscus like that of our platina like that of our lachesis like that of our ignatia females who suffer from uterine troubles or females who trouble from from cardiac complaints or various nervous manifestations especially suited to unmarried women we have some remedies for school going girls we have some remedies for menopausal women similarly lilium tig has got especially for unmarried women doesn't mean that you can't give for the other females suited to the females who are highly irritable she is so irritable that she can hardly speak a decent word she is so snappish such females who are highly irritable who are highly impulsive at the same time females who are very fearful females who are very timid who have got profound depression of spirits who are very restless and hurried who are especially a warm blooded these are the short adaptability of lilium tigrinum will quickly see some of the keynote indication of lilium tigrinum lilium tigrinum is again a deep acting remedy it is again a constitutional remedy it is again you can think as a polycrist remedy it has got typical uh, many of the pqra symptom many of the characteristic features which we can very easily differentiate from other female remedies the first key indication of lilium tigrinum is there is a profound depression of spirits it is not that typical depression as you see in natremure as you see in ignatia she is always weeping can hardly avoid weeping the moment we hear weeping means very often we are prejudiced with sepia very often we are prejudiced with pulsatilla 
very often we are prejudiced with natrum she is very timid she is highly fearful most of the time she will be complaining about crying only like that of her medorinum but how to differentiate pulsatilla how to differentiate sepia how to differentiate natrum how to differentiate medorinum all these drugs are weeping tendencies are there very characteristic modalities however lilium tigridum lady she get aggravated the moment you console them the lady who has got marked depression of spirit she can hardly avoid weeping very timid weeps most of the time but slightest consolation is aggravation which is opposite that of our pulsatilla where pulsatilla weeping lady she feels better by consolation here consolation is aggravation that's how we can differentiate from pulsatilla and lilium tigridum how to differentiate sepia and natrumure and medorinum we'll see when we proceed to the next symptom second key indication of lilium tigridum is regarding the bearing down sensation as i have said in the introduction about the flowers flowers are hanging downwards or flowers are upside down as if something is coming downwards which is the doctrinum of signature i have said similarly this is a remedy for the females who have got bearing down sensation as if something is protruding out from the genitalia or something is protruding down or something is pushing down from the abdomen or something is pushing down from the pelvis as though something is escaping from the vagina we have many drugs for bearing down sensations uh, typical remedies like sepia belladonna creosotum sabina sikelcor helonius murex each one has got its own modality to differentiate it you can think this remedy can be a remedy for prolapsed uterus or retroversion of uterus antiversion of uterus involution of uterus with one important modality the bearing down sensation is better by supporting the vulva with hand associated with bearing down sensation they have concomitant of palpitation they have concomitant of constipation they have concomitants of urging for urination so this is a remedy for bearing down sensation she feels better by supporting the vulva with hand associated with palpitation associated with constipation associated with urgency for urination another key indication of lilium tig is she is listless yet cannot sit still she is restless yet does not want to walk so this is a, a state of confusion she is always restless yet does not want to walk listless yet cannot sit still so that kind of a lady she wants to do some or the other things she wants to walk to suppress her sexual desire she the moment she sits quiet she gets a sexual thoughts to divert her sexual thoughts she has to walk around so such kind of confusion typically you can see in, in lilium tick listless yet cannot sit still restless yet does not want to walk desire to do many things she is the lady who is always hurried there is no ambition she doesn't know what she is doing but she is hurried she is a aimless hurried motion like that of argentum nitricum for the people who have many drugs for hurried like hepasulf they are the quick and hurried mercurius again they are the people who are quick and hurried adam is a lady or adam is a person who is restless here in lilium tick there is no aim there is no ambition simply she wants to walk simply she wants to be hurried next key indication of lilium tick is regarding the fear she has got a fear of being alone she has a fear that she is becoming insane like that of cannabis indica like that of simsifuga like that of lac caninum like that of sepia she also has a fear of that she is having heart disease she also fear that she is diseases are incurable she also fear that some impending calamities are going to happen she also fear that some big disease she is going to get for the fear we have got many drugs no one will think lilium tig as a remedy for fear as a first choice of remedy the moment fear means our mind will go to aconite 
our mind will go to phosphorus our mind will go to anacardium our mind will go to arsenical but we must think lilam tig such personality who are highly irritable such personality who are highly impatient such personality who are highly restless such personalities who are highly snappish associated with people who are timid and fear this is how we can differentiate lilam tig fear from other remedies let us continue some other key indication of lilam tig lilam tig also a remedy which comes very similar to that of our epis mellifica there is a frequent urging to urinate if desire is not attended there is a sensation as if something is congestion in the chest very frequently she is urging for urination if the moment the urging is not fulfilled she feels that her chest is congested we need to differentiate epis epis also a person epis also a individual every single drop which collects in the bladder she has to evacuate or or he has to evacuate here the urging for urination is due to different reason in lilium tig the urging for urination because of a pressure symptoms of uterus as we said this is a remedy for prolapsed uterus this is a remedy for antiversion retroversion so in such pathology as a pathologies in the uh, uterus which causes a pressure symptoms in bladder that is the reason in lilium tig she has got frequent urging to urinate the moment the desire is not fulfilled she feels there is a congestion in her chest another key feature which is the most characteristic and which is the most unique a uh, feature of lilium tig is she has a tendency to curse and swear she is disposed to curse she is disposed to strike she is disposed to think obscene things like our anacardium like our lacanaenum like our nitric acid like our stromonium and hyoscyamus they are the people who are always cursing and swearing the typical remedies are stromonium hyoscyamus nitric acid now how to differentiate nitric acid stromonium and hyoscyamus in stromonium a person has got more of mania more of religious mania in hyoscyamus you have got more of sexual mania in lacanaenum you have got more of forgetfulness weak memory associated with the tendency to curse and swear in anacardium you have got more of a uh, typical uh, schizophrenia features you can see in anacardium in addition to cursing and striking uh, typically a lilium tig personality is highly irritable she is so snappish she is so impulsive she can hardly speak a decent word she her words are always poking at you she sometimes speaks in double meaning she uses vulgar languages she uses foul languages very often such impulsive behavior very often such snappish behavior which very often associated with uterine complaints no one wants to have a friend of lilium tig even a roommate or in a hostel there are such individual nobody wants to company of lilium tig renum because she is so snappish everyone wants to be a calm friend like pulsetla everyone wants a friend like phosphorus but no one wants a friend like lilium tig because Lilium tig is highly impulsive. She uses abusive words. She uses a foul language, and she curses and swears like that of our lacases. Lilium tigrinum is an important remedy for the females who have got increased sexual desire. She has got increased sexual thoughts. She cannot control her sexual thought. To overcome from this sexual thought, she has to walk around. so called nymphomaniac to divert her mind she becomes restless to divert her thoughts she becomes walking around that is the reason she is walking always without reason the only reason is she is suppressing her sexual thoughts there are many drug for nymphomania in homeopathy the common remedies like iosemus lacasis virginianum platina stromonium now each drug has got its own symptom to differentiate in hyoscyamus typically hyoscyamus girl or hyoscyamus lady has got lascivious mania 
she will be exposing herself in front of others she is not knowing what she is doing she has got full of sexual thoughts and she has that lascivious behavior lachesis is another remedy for the females who have got early sexual development the child will be start masturbating or the child is holding the genitalia or the female she is not happy she has got multiple partners orijanam is a remedy where the person has got erotomania as we all know platina platina has got again a superior to complex slightest touch will provoke for the sexual act in platina at the same time the genital is so sensitive it ends up in a spasm stramonium is again a, a religious mania with sexual thoughts this is how we can differentiate nymphomania remedies of hyoscyamus lachesis platina stramonium and our lilium tigrinum in lilium tigrinum there is always a conflict between morality and sexuality she has got a sexual thought at the same time there is a religious thinking which comes in lilium tigrinum there are many other drugs for increased sexual thought like fluoric acid especially for men lycopodium staphysagria agnus so like that the remedy lists are many here a typically a female who is restless female who is hyperactive female who is very impulsive and snappish always a sexual thought to divert that she'll be walking around another indication of lilium tig related to the heart complaints there is a sensation as if heart was grasped in a vice like typically as you see in cactus or adam as if the blood has gone to the heart every blood had gone to the heart feels as though it is going to burst out a such kind of sensation you can see in lilium tigrinum let us see other indication of lilium tigrinum as we all said lilium tig is a remedy for females so regarding the menses menses is most of the time early but it is very scanty which is highly dark and offensive we have many drugs for early menses scanty menses dark menses offensive menses but peculiarity of lilium tig is the menstrual flow is only while walking around she get menses only while walking the moment she stops walking the menses will stop so menses is early scanty dark and highly offensive and menstrual flow is only while walking or only while moving around and the menstrual flow ceases when she stops walking which you see in costicum a costicum personality is totally different from that of lilium tig personality costicum person is cannot bear injustice they are the people who will fight for the others that is costicum here lilium tig is not having that mind at all we have opposite of that the menstrual flow only while lying down we have remedies like creosotum and magnesium carb both creosotum and magnesium carb has got a dark menses creosotum menses is very acrid and corrosive magnesium carb menses has got very thick pitch like menses and it is very difficult to wash like that of medorinum creosotum menses is highly offensive so all those drugs comes very close creosotum magnesium carb but difference is in lilium tig the menstrual flow only while walking about which is just opposite of creosotum and magnesium carb another peculiar mental feature of lilium tig is tormented about her salvation that means she is too much suffered about her mental pain a severe mental suffering and she is worried associated with ovarian and uterine complaints tormented about her salvation she is kind of a depressed she is a kind of kind of uh, almost going to collapsed mentally associated with ovarian and uterine complaints she has got a conflict at the mental level sometimes sexual thoughts sometimes religious thoughts so she is totally becoming indifferent 
there are many drugs for indifference like our sepia like our fluoric acid like our phosphoric acid like our phosphorus each drug has got its own peculiar other symptom to differentiate sepia is again a indifferent lady but sepia is chilly patient our lilium tegas is a hot patient sepia has got aversion to sex whereas lilium tegas has got increased sexual desire this is the two point is enough to differentiate between indifference of sepia and indifference of lilium teg here indifference about what is being done for her she is mentally tormented about her salvation and she is totally becoming indifferent fluoric acid is basically an indifferent person who is, doesn't want to take a responsibility a phosphorus is a well behaved person as a period of his uh, stress factors slowly slowly a well behaved person so called a nice mannered person will try to expose himself and he'll become totally indifferent to the family this is how you can differentiate indifference of sepia phosphorus fluoric acid few more characteristics symptoms of lilium tigrinum in the sphere of action we said lilium tig is a remedy for uterine complaints and also is a remedy for cardiac complaints there is a full of pulsations all over the body everywhere you can see a pulsation full blood vessels are looks very full there's a distended feeling as if the blood would burst through the vessels full of pulsations we have many drugs for pulsations a typical remedies like aconite belladonna glonine amyl nitrosum lachesis phosphorus each one has got its own peculiar feature to differentiate in belladonna you have throbbing throbbing of carotids and more of acute remedy we have in belladonna burning redness inflammation dryness whereas you don't see such symptoms in lilium tigrinum a glonine you have full of congestion sudden rush of blood from the heart to the head such symptoms you don't see in lilium tigrinum but overall a lilium tig personality has got a full of pulsation all over the body as if the blood is going to burst out from the blood vessels as you see in escolas other feature of lilium tig is there's a constant desire to urinate and constant desire to defecate as i mentioned earlier this symptom is more of pathological symptom as a result of prolapsed uterus as a result of antiverted or retroverted uterus which causes a pressure on the bladder which causes a pressure on the rectum leading to urgency for urination and urgency for defecation we have got many drug for urgency for urination as you see in epis as you see in naxomica but here you need to consider this more of a pathological feature you can see in lilium tigrinum it's also a remedy for palpitation this is not the first choice of remedy for palpitation for the palpitation we have many drugs like aconite spigelia glonine gelsemium here the palpitation with fluttering sensation as the person is going to faint as the person is very anxious the person is very much hurried with palpitation there is a sharp pain typical angina type of pain you can see at the apex of the heart especially at the night time but whatever the common symptoms you see like other drugs but here typical is palpitation associated with irregular pulse palpitation many drugs but palpitation with irregular pulse there are few drugs like that of digitalis veratrum ignatia phosphorus and it is not just palpitation heart beat is very rapid it has been described typically heart beat is up to 150 to 170 per minute which hardly see in other drugs you see in veratrum viride where this so you can conclude that this is a remedy for palpitation with irregular pulse and with the rapid heart rate as high as 150 to 170 per minute again we must remember veratrum viride is also belongs to the family of liliaceae so you have something which is very common in the common feature of the family few 
few other keynote indication of lilium tech is the person cannot walk on uneven ground you see such symptoms in agaricus here the person who cannot walk on uneven ground also person will have multiple joint pain the pain can be described in a small spots pain in the tip of the finger or a pain you can describe in a small spot like that of ignatia like that of calibicromicum pain in the spot or spotty pain like that of oxalic acid where pain is constantly shifting that of magnesium phos that of pulsatilla so this is the remedy for the pain in a small spot a spotty pain like ignatia calibicromicum oxalic acid and that pain is constantly shifting where the person cannot walk in uneven ground associated with the pain as we all know this is a remedy for female complaints so we said some female female complaints like menstrual irregularities like prolapse but this is also a remedy where the lady she is very slow in recovery after labor so you can think this remedy where the female who had a labor and she is unable to recover from the labor and the labor process after labor she is slowly recovering we have many drugs for that slow recovery after labor is carbovage china ferum sepia associated with slow recovery she has constipation she has palpitation and she has urgency for urination this is the three concomitants will help us to differentiate lilium tig from carbovage china ferum and sepia the next and the last complaints of last keynote indication of lilium tig is many of the complaints is as a result of uterine complaints for example the headache and the mental complaints are mainly as a result of reflex complaints of uterus or any other complaints maybe of cardiac complaints as a reflex complaints of our uterine irritation or uterine displacement or menstrual irregularities let us see some of the constitutional feature of lilium tigrinum or we'll try to understand the basic disposition or basic constitutional background of lilium tigrinum as we all know uh, lilium tig is a remedy especially for females or females who are unmarried a female who is so much hurried a females who is highly irritable she can hardly speak a decent word to anybody she is so much snappish she is so much back answering and nobody wants the company of lilium tigrinum lady or lilium tigrinum girl she will snap even when spoken so kindly to her she is so irritable that her friends cannot pacify her no one can console her the moment you console that aggravates lilium tigrinum which is just opposite of pulsatilla a pulsatilla is very mild gentle and yielding lady she feels better by consolation here just opposite when spoken to she get irritable she lies awake whole night and is tormented either by her fanatical religious ideas or she lies awake whole night with religious melancholy like our stromonium like our lacasis she will be thinking about insane ideas concerning about the religion and modes of life which are unreasonable which are illogical and which are mostly fanciful she has a wrong idea concerning for everything she receives a wrong impression and just like the flower which we saw in the initial videos where the flower is inverted and her perceiving also all everything is inverted like the flower it is very impossible to convince her and it's very impossible to please her now you can think who wants such personality no one wants lilium tig lady in our house now these states leading to irritation even that state leading to irritation in the sexual organs 
she'll be full of sexual thoughts she is full of nymphomaniacal and her sexual behaviors are not just a normal sexual behavior it is more of violent sexual excitement associated with spasm and she'll go for gratification she'll go for masturbation associated with palpitation with marked weakness she sits alone and broods over imaginary troubles her ideas are not at all clear she makes mistakes while writing she makes mistakes while speaking she cannot apply the mind steadily she will be slowly slowly brooding and thinking over about the past which where the state of mind which comes that of our natromyof but natromyof is totally different person the moment you ask her anything why you are so sad and why you are so brooding suppose this lady is there in your home and you are being the elder and you are asking why you are brooding why you are thinking about your past she will suddenly jumps out and run hastily and close the door with a big noise she slams the door without any cause when someone speaks so kindly in her the family she doesn't give respect to them she will become so much wild and she become again a irritable with marked fear and insane feeling at the end this is how the evolution of lilium tigranum personality regarding the complaints most of the complaints in lilium tig as a result of reflex symptoms of uterus so most of the time element from uterine disorders element from prolapse element from nymphomania element from sexual excess element from hysteria and also element from heart diseases regarding the modalities they are generally aggravation by consolation aggravation by warm room aggravation by standing and generally ameliorated by fresh air ameliorated by rest